Hi there folks, Andrew at ChatFuel, and today I have a question for you. That is, how many bills do you pay a month, right? Like how many services are you signed up for? It could be Spotify, iTunes, Netflix, your electricity bill, whatever, right? You have all these bills that you're paying and it would be a really big inconvenience if you had to get a new credit card or a new bank account, right? Because then you'd have to go in one by one manually through all of these billing services, billing portals, and you'd have to switch out that info. And it would just be a huge inconvenience, take you half a day, maybe a whole day to do that. And the same historically used to be true with building bots, right? If you wanted to update some piece of information in your bot that was in many different blocks, you'd have to do that manually. And it was, again, a huge inconvenience. But thankfully, now with the release of something called Global Attributes, that is no longer a problem. So today I'm going to be talking to you about Global Attributes, how it's going to save you time and be a huge value add if you are a chatbot agency. That being said, let's dive in. Okay, so as I just mentioned, agencies are definitely going to benefit from global attributes. And one of the key use cases for agencies using global attributes is if they're selling templates to clients, right? So let's say you are selling templates for the restaurant industry. You have this master template that every time you sell a new template, you clone that, give access to the client. They can go in and replace their business info. That's all well and good. You can continue doing it the way you always have, but now with global attributes, you have a better way of doing it. So in that template, you can use a global attribute for different information. Like again, I mentioned the business's name, their phone number, their email, their address, all of this business specific information you can now use with global attributes to make the onboarding of selling that template a whole lot easier. So as an example here, right, I have this welcome message where I'm using a global attribute called g-business-name, and that will be the name of the business, right? The person who buys the template from us. And then any instance of this global attribute throughout the bot, it will be replaced with whatever we set up, right? And the beauty of this as opposed to a normal attribute is that with a global attribute, the user doesn't have to actually go to any block like the welcome message to trigger that attribute. It'll just automatically be set for all users. So they can come in you know, through different entry points and we don't have to worry about that data field being missing. So how do you set this up? Well, to create a global attribute, you go into the configure tab here, scroll down to global attributes and click manage global attributes. And then here you'll see the list of all the global attributes that I've created. You know, there are none that are created by default. So if these look confusing, don't worry, I just created them previously. And you see the whole list here, right? And so again, the common use case here is you have something set up like the business's domain name, you know, for their website their business name, their email, phone, address, et cetera. And then as soon as you sell that template, you just have either the client go in here and update all the information or you do it for them. And then every instance of this information throughout the bot is updated, right? So as another example here, let's say for the information like phone number, right? I have it here on the default answer block. So I have it there. And then I also have this contact section over here and I also have that phone number among these other global attributes here. So then if I were to go in, let's say our phone number for the business changes for whatever reason, I just go into the configure tab and then needless to say, all of these other instances of phone number are going to change. Now it is very, very important to note here before we move on that when you are creating a global attribute, I highly, highly recommend you use some sort of prefix. So in this case, I'm just using G dash, you could use GA, whatever makes sense to you, but I highly encourage you to use some sort of prefix to again, distinguish the global attributes from regular attributes, because if the user, let's say you have another attribute in the bot like email here, like if you're collecting the user email, um, if a user has an attribute value of the same name, then that regular attribute value will override the global attribute. And then obviously that would kind of break the magic of um, all of this information being dynamically replaced. So. Again, you don't have to worry about all the details, but long story short, 
use a prefix uh, when you're creating a global attribute so you don't override any other normal attribute value that you're creating because again, the normal attribute value will take priority, will take precedence over the global attribute. So that's how global attributes are valuable for agencies, but now let's talk about how you can also use global attributes for opening or restricting access to a block. All right, so let's talk e-commerce a little bit here. That's one of the hot topics at ChatFuel. And let's say that you have a chatbot where you're selling products. Even if you're not selling them natively in Messenger, that's okay. You're redirecting to a Shopify page, some other e-commerce storefront, that's fine. So here in the welcome message, I've created this shop call to action here. So I'm gonna go there. It'll show me all the products that I've created. And in this case, let's say I'm running a gaming, some sort of like computer gaming store, and I'm selling things like keyboards, mice, monitors, et cetera. So that's great. And then let's say, you know, Cyber Monday is coming up, for example, and we want to create sort of a flow where if our Cyber Monday offer is activated, then we're gonna give everybody 50% off our products. And then as soon as that offer is ended, then we'll just send people back to the normal prices, right? So, Currently, you know, the only way to do this is using the JSON API. It's kind of complicated. And so with global attributes, you can easily turn on or off access to those Cyber Monday deals. So let's show you an example of how this is set up right now. So I'm going to click test my bot here and you can ignore all the other content here from before. So I'm going to say shop to check out all the products. So here's our hottest products. I'll click on keyboards, let's say, and bam, beautiful keyboard. So right now, actually our Cyber Monday offer is currently active because I have that global attribute value set to true, which I'll show you in a second. But let's say that now, you know, our Cyber Monday offer is over. What we can do here is head back into the configure tab and turn off that attribute. So we could either delete the global attribute here as a whole, or we could change the value from true to false. And then once we go back through, now that'll be updated in real time and that offer will no longer be active, right? And the beauty of this, of course, it's not just applied to that keyboard product, it's applied to all the other products that I have. So I don't have to manually go into each redirect to block, which I can show you in a second, and switch those out, right? Just with a couple clicks and a couple keystrokes, all of that information is now updated. So let me go back here and show you what it looks like now that I've disabled that attribute, that global attribute. So I'll click shop again. I'll go to keyboard again. So I'll click learn more. And there you see now that 50% off offer is gone and it's been replaced by the normal pricing. And of course, again, it doesn't just apply to that keyboard product. If I go to any other like monitors, I will not see that 50% off offer. It's just the normal pricing here. And in case you're curious as to how this is actually working on the back end, I'm not gonna go into detail here, but basically how I have this set up is with redirect to blocks. So we have all the products here. And then if I click on keyboard, it's taking me to this block and it's checking if the Cyber Monday offer is true, then give them that discount. If not, just send them the normal product. So again, this just all works with redirect to blocks and the beauty is I can magically control it just with, by changing one attribute, one global attribute, I should say, in the configure tab, rather than manually going through all of these products. And right in this case, it's just three products, but imagine if you have you know, dozens, hundreds, even thousands, it would be a much more painful process. Okay, so, so far we've talked about how global attributes are useful for agencies when they're selling templates and they wanna easily replace business information. We've talked about how global attributes are useful for running limited time offer sales and those sort of things. And now finally, one other use case, which is definitely far more advanced, but definitely useful as well and still worth mentioning, is using it for the JSON API plugin, right? So let's say that you are working on a project and you want to, during development, run everything through a dev environment, you know, some sort of dev URL for your JSON code. And then when you're ready to go live, you wanna switch that to production. It's very easy to now do that using global attributes. So let's say, you know, you have 500 JSON API plugins in your bot and you wanna switch that domain out. It's super easy to do. So let's create a JSON API plugin here. We'll select that. 
And then for the URL here, let's just type in HTTPS and then we can type in our domain name, right? So we'll type in uh, G domain. Again, very important to use the prefix here. So user attributes to not override the global attribute. And then we can say, you know, run whatever specific script within that domain, within that server that we would want to run. So let's say, you know, time dot HTML, for example, I'm just making stuff up here. Um, cool. So now we have this and right now in the configure tab, our G dash domain, our global attribute for domain is dev dot AGS for Andrew's gaming store, let's say dot com. So again, we can use this uh, global attribute during all of our testing when we have people internally in our team going through the bot. But then when we're ready to go live, Again, no need to update 500 JSON API plugins. All you have to do here is magically change this to prod.andrewsgamingstore, and then you are good to go. All instances will be replaced, and life is good, right? It eliminates so much time, so much uh, headaches, and unnecessary stress. All right, so that is the quick and dirty of how to use global attributes in your chat fuel bot, a huge, huge time saver. Again, it benefits agencies who are selling templates to clients and want to easily update and replace business specific information. It's useful for running those limited time offers or different contests, campaigns, that sort of thing, and limiting the time that users can access them. And then finally, it's also useful for updating the JSON API plugin for production versus development. So again, that's global attributes in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave them down below in the comments. And also down below in the comments, let us know how you are using global attributes because there's so many creative things you can do with them. These are just a couple of use cases that save you time as an agency or as an e-commerce business. So thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down below or email us team at chatfuel.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video and happy botting.